Real Life Final Destination, Episode 2, Hello Scarers! Viewer discretion is advised. Trigger warning, this one involves planes. Pictured behind me is 52-year-old Phyllis Jean Writings and her father, 70-year-old Elsie Bud Warren. Ah, that's some clean editing right there. The father and daughter combo here were a part of the Experimental Aircraft Association. Now, by 2007, Bud had finally finished building a plane, his own plane. He had used a Chevrolet engine for it, and so Bud and his daughter took off in that plane. But shortly after takeoff, there was an engine fire, and that was because of a worn fuel line. In an absolute miracle, uh, they would manage to land the plane in emergency style in a cornfield. And by the way, this is all happening in Texas. Within an actual, literal minute of them walking away from the plane, the cockpit was completely engulfed in flames. They were unbelievably lucky to survive. This is the image of that crash. No one has died in this particular image here. This is all I'm showing is a destroyed plane. But this is a series about Final Destination style deaths. So you are aware this will not have a happy ending. In 2011, they had built another experimental plane, and they were on their way to an air show in Temple. At exactly 8.53 a.m., just one minute after taking off from the airport in Conroe, smoke began to billow in the cockpit. They requested an emergency landing, which was granted, and they had turned the aircraft around, but roughly a half a mile from the airport, the plane would crash. And then it instantly exploded. Bud managed to crash land the airplane in a wooded area where there was no people around. They suspect he did this on purpose so that he wouldn't, you know, hurt anyone else. They had to bulldoze a path just to get to where the airplane crashed. But unfortunately, Bud and Phyllis, who had just survived a plane crash not but a few years earlier, under extremely similar circumstances, they would perish in this particular plane crash. In an almost unbelievable twist of fate. By the way, please don't put any hateful comments below. These are two people who lost their lives, so. To me, it's just unbelievable that nearly the exact same thing they survived years prior is the same thing that would end their lives. I guess cheating death is not really a thing. Unfortunately, rest in peace, 